Hey, what's up team? It's DJ back with another video. All right, um, in this video, I just wanna share this cool technique that you can use in reference to doing your mailings. Um, basically, when you send your postcards out, okay, um, what can happen is, for example, this person that you're mailing the postcard to, um, this person might have moved, right? This person might uh, be deceased, right? Um, it's a lot of different, you know, uh, circumstances um, that can happen. And what you want to do is, so you don't lose any money on your leads, you can put all current resident on your postcards, okay? And that way your postcards will be delivered no matter what, okay? So I got Amazon pulled up right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to um, get the rubber stamp. So all you gotta do is come up here in the search bar right here and I already got the, the text. Okay, so what you wanna type in, you wanna type in Infusion self inking custom rubber stamp personal or business use choose from 16 colors three by eight uh no three three eighths by one okay as you can see that right there as a matter of fact I'll put a link in the uh video so you don't even have to type it in when you click on it, it'll take you right to Amazon. Just want to just show you how it looks when you um when you when you go ahead and you uh are about to order this, okay? And the steps, the process to it, okay? So it's actually this one right here. This one that says infusion. Let me move this mouse. See that? So infusion, custom message. And it's very, very affordable. It's only 10 bucks. Click on it. See that? Scroll down a little bit. And the size you want, you know, that three eighths by one, okay? And as you can see over here, it said product needs to be customized before adding to the cart. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on it. This is how it's gonna be for you too. When you click on it, it's gonna give you the option to customize. All right, all right. <clears throat> and as you can see right there, font name, you wanna make sure that it's Arial, and you wanna make sure that the font is in black. Character limit, 15 characters per line, okay? Scroll this down just a tad bit. And there's a space right here. And this is where you will put the text, all right? And what you wanna write in, you wanna write in or, okay, let me get that. You wanna type in or current resident, just like that. Um, you can put it in caps if you prefer. I know I got mine in caps. It depends on you know your preference. Actually, the caps is better. And it'll look like that. And then after that, add the cart. And once you add that to the cart, then you just pay for it. And after you pay for it, um, it'll be on the way to you. Now, I just wanna just show you real quick, cause I got mine the other day. This is how it'll look. It's gonna come in a box like this. See that? It's gonna come in a box like this. Let's just zoom in for you guys. See that? Now this doesn't come with an ink cartridge, so if you need additional ink, if you run out, all you got to do is just go back to Amazon and you can like go up here, you can type it in and you'll be able to order an extra ink cartridge if you run out of ink. Okay. Um, 
So this is how it looks for a current resident. See that? It has like these little unlock buttons right here. This is like the ink cartridge right here. And you, you know, you can pop that out to replace the ink when you need to. All right. So I got a postcard right here. I just want to show you the process of it, right? So, you know, you got your postcard stamp. Remember, use postcard stamps when you're mailing your postcards out. All right. See, they come on a roll like this. Matter of fact, pick some up the other day. Roll of 100. See that? Roll of 100. It's going to cost you $40 for 100. Postcard stamps are 40 cent. And you put them on your postcard right here, right up in this upper corner right here. Your leads that come to you, all right? That's how the leads look when they come to you. Put the leads information right here. Your ID number right here. Also, um, if you need the rubber stamp for the ID number, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I'll put that in this uh, in this uh, video. And you, yeah, that'll take you to Amazon too, and you can order one of those if you need it, or if you want to write it in, you can write it in. It's up to you. But um, it's as simple as this. This is the process. All right. So, all current resident, and you just basically like right up in that upper top of this uh, this label, and then you just stamp it. And you see that? See how clean that looks? So that way, when you sending your postcard out to your prospects, your mail will be delivered no matter what, okay? You don't have to worry about the mail like bouncing back, going back to the post office because it can't be delivered, right? Or the person, you know, uh, moved or whatever, whatever the circumstance, right? This tells the mailman to deliver your mail so if this gentleman doesn't live at this address and someone else does, the postcard will still go to that person. And that person might be someone that might be interested in this opportunity and you'll still get paid. So that way you're not losing any money on your leads. All right. So this is a cool technique that you can use. All you got to do is order one off of Amazon like I just showed you. And yeah, you can put that on your postcards and that can help you to, you know, um, get those sales, you know, or at least be in a position to possibly get a sale and you don't lose any money on your leads. All right. So just a quick little video, quick little technique that you can use with your mailings. And uh, make sure that you uh, make sure that you do your mailings weekly. All right, um, today's Saturday. Like I'm about to get ready to drop some postcards off in the mail today because Saturdays are a good time to mail. Once you drop your postcards off in the mail, these postcards are going to be in people's mailboxes by next week, midweek, towards the end of the week when the mail is more light, not heavy. So that way the postcard, it'll show up, all right? If you, that's what you want. You want your postcards to show up and that gives you the opportunity to possibly get a sign up, all right? So rewind this video back as many times as you need to. Watch it thoroughly so you can get the rubber stamp and, you know, put that all current resident on your postcards. All right, guys, so I'm gonna sign off. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.